Right, this is a uh, third lesson in a series on bass drum technique. Um, today's lesson is going to be about playing with your heel up. Uh, when you practice with your heel up, first of all, you're not going to have as much control as you do with your heel down, but you're going to get a lot more power and a lot more speed, and that's the purpose in it. And so I'm going to go through a few exercises here, and uh, I believe in keeping things pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, a lot of mastering the drums is about repetition, and so it takes a lot of patience, but if you practice the exercises I'm going to cover today, um, day after day and week after week, uh, over several months you're going to see your bass drum, your foot getting faster and faster, it's going to get easier to play your double strokes, and everything that you need to play in the particular music that you perform. Alright, for the first exercise we're just going to play quarter notes. Uh, notice I've got my foot moved back on the pedal. You don't you don't uh, play you don't play uh, close to the front here. You move it back a little ways into about the middle of the pedal, and I'm up on the ball of my foot, so I'm sort of bouncing on the pedal. You just play like this. You start out really slow. You're not going to get quite as much control this way as you will with the uh, heel down, but you just have to accept that you're going to get more power and more speed ultimately. Eventually you're going to speed that up a little bit. A little more. That's pretty much it for that technique. Okay, the next technique we're going to practice, or the next exercise, is going to be right, left, bass, bass. So I'm going to play two notes with my hand, my hands, uh, on the snare drum. Right, left, bass, bass. Right, left, bass, bass. Again, you're going to start out really slow. Eventually you will increase your speed. Let the beater rebound. Don't bury it into the head. A little bit faster. a lot of control this way, eventually you're going to reach a threshold where it's very difficult to play much faster than this. And that's why you want to practice other techniques as well. I'm going to lift my heel up. I'm going to move it back again to about the middle of the pedal. I'm up on the, I'm up on the ball of my foot here. Right, left, face, face. Just let it rebound. faster. Faster. Third technique is a little harder to explain. This is a lot more advanced. Basically this is a toe heel technique and you're going to start on the ball of your foot for the first stroke and then you're going to move back into the heel down position and basically what happens is you kind of kick the pedal as you're moving um, I don't think about this, but this happens automatically after you practice this enough in slow motion it goes like this again and the result is ultimately you're going to get a lot of power um, a lot of speed and a really clean double stroke. Um, it's really similar to where to when you're playing a double stroke with your hands. 
Same exercise, right, left, toe heel. Again, right, left, toe heel. This is a really exaggerated motion in the beginning, but as you get going faster, the motion becomes shorter and shorter. Basically, you're going to develop your bass drum technique very similar to the way you develop your hand technique. You're going to practice lots of different ways. You're going to practice slow, eventually work your tempo up. And if you do that day after day, week after week, month after month, um, eventually you'll have absolutely killer bass drum technique.